very possible that one day you might look up and see our next guest soaring through the skies or flying on the silver screen. He's the Navy's first commanding officer of the only F-35C Stealth Strike Fighter Squadron, a stunt pilot for Tom Cruise, author of a new book entitled Full Throttle, and maybe the coolest guy that we've had here in Damn a long down. time, Damn Scott down. Cartvet. Thanks for joining us, man. Alexis, Cody, thanks for having me, and hello to Indiana. It's great to be on with you. Thank you. Scott, I could only imagine how you were as a teenager, and I'm sure that your parents were like, you know what, Scott has a lot of heart in him because you seem like you're a daredevil. Tell us a little bit about your career as a fighter pilot. Yeah, that's, Alexis, I do have a little bit of a, a, a an adrenaline junkie, to say the least. Uh, it actually started in high school. I saw Top Gun, uh, the original, back in 1986, and told all my friends I was going to be a fighter pilot and subsequently joined the Navy and fly NF-18s. Uh, got to fly with the Blue Angels, uh, and I hope we get a chance to chat about that. Five combat tours, uh, and then 33 years later, which is really the reason I wrote the book, I was able to fly as a stump pilot in Maverick. So that full circle journey for me uh, is what I talk about. Wow. All right, that's a movie that <laughs> literally people are saying saved the box office, and you were a massive part of that. What was your experience like working with Tom Cruise on Top Gun Maverick, and then also the new Pish Mission Impossible movie too, right? Yeah, so I, I, I we trained the actors and actresses for Maverick uh, back in the winter of 2018 in jets uh, to get them used to flying. And then in June, towards the July of 2019, I was asked to be a stunt pilot in the final fight scene. So when Maverick and Rooster steal the Tomcat, they fly back to the carrier. That's the opera, That's the part that I flew with a good friend, uh, Randy Howell. That's mm. so cool. Real quick, for anybody who, because it's just, I'm trying to fathom being in that like cockpit and like flying what you fly. <laughs> what does it feel like? Okay, so is it really snug? Like kind of walk us through what the experience is like. Yeah, Alexis, do you like roller coasters? Yes. It's a roller coaster amplified on steroids to the max. I mean, it's a $80 million uh, single cockpit roller coasters that can pull seven and a half Gs and do the speed of sound. So uh, it's exhilarating to say the least. And then to park one on the back of an aircraft carrier at night uh, is phenomenal. I mean, so even the cool. fact that you know what that feels like is because, you know, I mean, we're the racing capital yeah. of the world. People here like to go very fast. It just doesn't happen to always be in the air like with yourself. So talk to us about your new book, Full Throttle. What about this book really makes you feel like, man, people need to hear this? I got asked a lot, Scott, how did you get the opportunity to do the things that you have done? And I hadn't really thought about it because I was just busy doing them. And I sat back and realized that it was about saying yes to opportunities and not limiting myself, uh, embracing errors and mistakes and learning from them, and then asking for help, which so many people are apprehensive to do. Uh, and really those three elements. And I talk about how those three elements helped uh, help me through combat, uh, help me through my parents' divorce, uh, help me deal with friends that had committed suicide, uh, and uh, allowed me the incredible opportunities uh, to fly with the Blue Angels and to fly in Maverick and uh, be the aviation safety supervisor on Mission Impossible 8, uh, saying yes. Wow. Scott, you mentioned the Blue Angels. This book has a really cool tie to the Blue Angels as well. Explain what you're doing with some of these profits, right? So 20% of the profits go towards the Blue Angels Foundation. Uh, I'm on the board and we work tirelessly to help prevent veteran suicide. And so uh, I, I didn't do it for me. I've had an incredible life and continue to do so, but there's so many veterans who need our help um, and they need the funding to do it. And so the uh, proceeds of this book and the good fortune that I have experienced in the military will uh, go to help those veterans that need the help. We love seeing people do things that are bigger than themselves. Scott, my man, you might just be the coolest dude around. Don't let anybody tell you anything different. You were always it, a guest. It was welcome. me, but now it's you, Scott. I mean, so it, I guess. It, it wasn't him, Scott. It wasn't him. Mm -mm. It's now you. Hey, for more info on this interview, fly on over to allindiana.tv. Scott, thank you. Thanks, Alexis. Thanks, Cody. Have a great day. You too.